I'm gonna try something out of pure curiosity. I'm gonna try making a wood sorrel tea. It's sour grass, it tastes really good, so I wanna see if it would be sour. As far as the nutritional value goes with wood sorrel, it is known to be high in vitamin C, so much so that it's historically been used for treating scurvy. It's also a good source of beta carotene, but it does contain some oxalic acid. Now that's not that unusual. A lot of foods like spinach contain about the same amount of oxalic acid. So just to be safe, if you suffer from kidney disease, arthritis, or gout, this might be a plant to stay away from. Otherwise, enjoy. Will you be my taste tester for the wood sorrel tea? Let's see if it tastes any good. All right, sweet. 20 minutes steeped, so I think that's tea. At least as close as it's gonna get. Nothing in it but wood sorrel, so it's gonna be one of three things. Either it tastes amazing, maybe it tastes okay, and it would be good uh, with something else added like stevia and chamomile, or it tastes awful. My honest guess is it's probably gonna be the third. Too hot to drink right now. You wanna take a smell? Sure. Smell it and see what you think. That's strong. You know what? It actually has a nice smell, which I wasn't expecting. Actually is kind of, has a nice look. Now that I strained it, at first I was thinking kind of dishwatery, but now I'm looking at it going, well, it's a very like mild looking tea color. It's kind of a unique color. Most things turn into a darker color when you make a tea out of them. So if you happen to not be familiar with wood sorrel, it looks an awful lot like clover to most people, but it would be like a clover that doesn't have a fully departed uh, petal. It has little yellow blooms. Clover's either purple or white usually. It's like a, um, one. It's like a two clover. Yeah, like a two clover, right? And wood sorrel tends to grow kind of sporadically throughout the yard. Whereas clover will have a really deep root, root system. When you try to pull clover, you won't get the root, uh, very much of the root out most of the time. With wood sorrel, it's got a really shallow root system. So we did pick the roots off of any of the plants before we made our tea. How does it smell? Like Swedish a little. Kind of citrusy, doesn't it? I think it smells like a little bit, like a lemon or an orange. Yeah, it needs to cool down. Gustav, do you want to try the tea? Oh yeah, I'd like to try the tea, Dad. May I, uh, you know, can I get it on that tea sometime, you know? Is it meat tea? Cause I guess I should ask. That's, that's kind of all I like. They're gonna be good or bad? Probably, um, bad. That must have been delicious. What did it taste like? Um, I haven't tried it yet. I really don't know. Sour? Really, really sour. Really? Now, Annika said it tasted really, really sour, which that might mean the sour grass flavors in here. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna daddy try it. Wow. It tastes like orange peel. It smells like orange peel, but with no sweetness in it. It's very bland and not a sweet flavor at all, but it's a sour flavor. Now it's very strong. You know what? It's pretty good. I mean, it tastes like lemon water. You know what? I'm really surprised. This uh, as a standalone tea is not bad. But if we use this as an ingredient in our other teas, Annika, I'm pretty sure this is phenomenal. If we put it in with a little stevia, maybe a little chamomile, it's really a distinctly sour flavor, which surprises me. I thought it would, I thought we would lose the sourness when we made the tea. You, 
Nintendo, it's pretty good. I know you don't like it, but I think people who drink herbal tea would really like it. I am very surprised. I make little videos like this all the time where I grab something I, uh, and I, um, you know, I was eating cactus the other day and I never made a video of it because it wasn't very good how I made it. <laughs> Probably about half of the videos I try to make, I never end up making because what I make, well, this is very good. Uh, I didn't think this was going to be a video at the end, but actually this is really, really tasty. Give this one a try. I don't know why more people don't talk about this as a tea additive. I think I could knock people's socks off with it with a wood sorrel tea. And maybe this is a known thing a lot of people know about, but I've never heard anybody talk about it. So, hey, for what it's worth, wood sorrel tea is really good. It does keep the sour flavor in there. I'm gonna start adding it to all kinds of things where I wanna have a little lemony sour flavor. So, hey. That's the good news. Annika, we can let everybody know, Wood Sorrel's wonderful sour flavor, it does stay in the tea. I really thought the flavor would be lost when I boiled it. I thought it was just gonna taste like a, a, a watery vegetable, but it didn't. It kept its sour flavor through the, the uh, steeping process. So this top shelf, natural tea additive. Give it a try. Wood sorrel. If you um, do give it a shot, please let me know in the comments what you think of it because I'd like to hear some feedback from some other folks. This takes all of about five minutes to harvest and maybe 15 minutes to make. This is an easy one and it's good. So give it a shot. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Oh no, I dropped the phone. Oh boy, how do I shut this thing off now?